Hi friends, it's Asha. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am in the kitchen next to my KitchenAid here because we are going to be doing a full on bake with me video. Obi, please don't knock my camera down. He's like behind my camera if you guys can tell. Obi, you're going <laughs> to... You're blocking the camera. Nobody can see, buddy. You can't come up here. So... Well, wait, Obi, can you please move, sir? Can you at least sit? You're, you're kind of in the way. Oh, he's like, hello. Obi, you can't sit there. You're literally sitting. Hi, buddy, I'm sorry. You can sit, you wanna sit at the table? Sorry about that, Obi got in the way. But today we're gonna be doing a Bake With Me video. I'm baking three dozen cupcakes for my best friend Grace's graduation party. So I am doing Reese's, well I call them chocolate peanut butter cupcakes, and then I'm doing uh, cookies and cream dream and birthday cake. So those are the three flavors that I'm going to be baking today. And yeah, I only have to do a dozen for each, which kind of sounds like a lot, but it's honestly not that much compared to what I'm used to doing. And I'll definitely have some leftover cupcakes as well. I have to also take pictures for my website of the cookies and cream and the birthday cake cupcakes because I don't have those on my website yet. But yeah, I've already got my hair pulled back as you can tell and my hands are all clean and washed. So now I just have to put on my apron and then we can get started with baking. So I'm excited to do this video because it was very highly requested actually and I'm surprised at how many people care about baking. This is my apron by the way, my Grammy got it for me. But yeah, actually, a lot of people seem to care about baking and I bake all the time so I figured what else would I do besides bake? So um, we have cats in our like backyard and the mom cat just had a bunch of kittens and there's four of them and they are so cute and we just keep looking at them and stuff but they're so cute it's like I don't know. We can't do anything. We're not going to let them in the house because my cat Leia has FIV so she can get sick really easily. But yeah, that's just wanted to tell you that. But now I have my apron on and I'm going to get started with baking. First cupcake I'm going to do is the cookies and cream ones because I think in my eyes those are the most difficult just because you have to actually like blend up Oreos and stuff so it's a bit harder. have my KitchenAid here. Um, I, this is not the newest KitchenAid or anything, just so you know. I just have the KitchenAid and I always use this attachment to um, make the cupcakes. So I'm gonna do that and another tip I have is always use cake flour. It makes your cupcakes taste much, well, taste much better. So I always like to use cake flour and yeah, I'm just gonna be making my basic chocolate cupcake but then I'm gonna add in Oreos and everything like that. So I should probably get the blender out so I can blend up some Oreos because if they are too thick, especially when you're making the frosting, you will not be able to pipe it out and it is the most annoying thing ever. Making a ton of frosting and it just completely failing. So we need to make some good frosting. So like I said, I'm just gonna blend up my Oreos, but if you have a food processor, definitely use that. Um, and for as for the recipe, a chocolate cake recipe you can get anywhere. I kind of make my own or I look at some and then kind of add things that I want to add and stuff. So you can get one anywhere or you can, you know, use your family recipe or anything like that. And all you really have to do is add Oreos. So I'm going to do like this much. No, I'm not doing that much. I definitely need some more. I'm going to do this much Oreos for now. And then we're going to try to blend these up. We'll see. I've never blended them up. I usually crush them, but like I said, that doesn't really work. I'm wondering if I actually might smash these a little bit before I blend them. But I'm going to do, do that over there, so I'm going to stop the video for right now, and then we will come back once they're all blended up. So the Oreos that I blended up, these are for the frosting. It's a very fine powder, so you're piping that while you're piping it. It won't get stuck or anything. And then I have laid some Oreos out right here. On this um, sheet, usually I would put them in a Ziploc bag, but we don't have any. So I'm just going to fold this up and kind of start smashing these um, so we can have some crushed Oreos to put in the batter. 
because we need them. So I'm just gonna start smashing them and I'll fast forward it. If you go into baking anything or cooking anything thinking this is going to turn out awful or this is just going to be really gross, it probably will. So if you go into it with the attitude of these are going to look so cute and they're going to taste so good, then you're kind of just bound to actually do way better. So yeah, that's a little tip for your attitude while baking or cooking. Okay, so now these are all kind of flat, finely chopped up. They're still like little chunks because when you bite into the cupcake, you kind of still want to get chunks of it. But now um, I'm going to get out my cupcake pan and line it with the cupcake liners and then we're going to actually start making the batter. So I'm going to go ahead and get out all the ingredients and have them all set out so I'm not having to run back and forth the whole entire time to do that. So let's do that. So I'm just using the Wilton 24 cupcake pan. That's good for if you're doing good, like bigger batches and everything. So then I just use white cupcake liners for all of it. Unless you were doing something that had like a theme like Valentine's Day, you could use cute little cupcake liners, but I prefer to just do that. Oh, actually before I start doing that, what I need to do is make buttermilk because it takes 30 minutes to sit so I'm gonna make a thing of buttermilk so we can actually start with the recipe after this. So that's what this calls for, so I'm gonna do it. So I just finished making my buttermilk, which if you don't know how to make it, you just use however much your recipe calls for. Like if it's half a cup of buttermilk, do half a cup of milk and one teaspoon of lemon juice. And then you wait 30 minutes and it will like curdle and stuff so you can actually have your buttermilk. So I just have to wait for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my cupcake pan. Also forgot to mention, preheat your oven. I just preheated mine to 350 and it just finished preheating. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and line my cupcake pan. Oh, also I think I said this has 24, it's 12. I did not mean to say 24. So I'm gonna to need to line two of these. Even though I'm only needing to make 12, this recipe usually makes around 16. So, I always overline it more than I need to. There we go. That's all done. So now these get set aside because you do not need them cluttering your baking space. Okay, so I will see you guys in a little bit when the buttermilk is ready and we can actually start baking. So I've moved my camera a bit so you can get a better view. The buttermilk is still not done. I did a cup by the way because I'm gonna be using it for the next chocolate recipe too. But for right now, I am just going to put all my dry ingredients in here so they're all ready to go once that is actually done. So this is a brand new box of cake flour. But I'm just gonna speed through this. This tip will help you a lot in the end, clean as you go. So I have this all cleaned out and I just took everything that I used and cleaned it all and dried it. This is the rest of the buttermilk for the next recipe, but that is going to help you so much. So you don't have a huge mess to clean up after while well, you have to make a ton of more cupcakes. So yeah, that's what I did. And now I'm just waiting for those to be done and I'm probably going to wait a little bit until they're done and then once they are done, I'll put them on the cooling rack and we will get started with making the frosting. So I got the cupcakes out of the oven and put them on the cooling rack and now I'm going to start making the frosting. So here's my frosting tip. If you want to make any frosting, all you need is butter, 
powdered sugar, and any flavoring that you want. So obviously I'm using Oreos. You can also add a little bit of vanilla into your frosting, but basically you just use butter, however much you think you'll need, and you can always add more because frosting is the easiest part pretty much because you don't have to bake it. It doesn't have to really matter if it's over mixed or anything like that. So we are going to make some frosting. And I think I've said that before in a video about the, how it works or whatever, but yeah. Now I'm gonna start making it and I will show you. The Oreo frosting is all done. I didn't end up using all of this, but I'll save it. And then I'm gonna have to clean this up. But what I'm gonna kinda do right now, ooh, my Oreos are over here. What I'm gonna do is take these and start cutting them in half for the garnishes because the cupcakes are kinda just finishing um, cooling. And then I'm using this tip, I believe it's a M1. Oh, oh, one M. Sorry, that's the tip I'm using, and then I'm just gonna put it in the piping bag and everything once these are all cooled. Okay, so, um, later now, but these are out of the oven. Chocolate ones are in the oven. I had an issue, and I had to basically rebake the Reese's ones, but it's fine. So here I have the stuff to make the frosting for whoops, you can't even see me, for the cake batter, and that's what I'm gonna do. I always forget how much frosting hurts. So I'm just cutting this in half because this is supposed to make 24, and I only need 12. Cause I, well yeah, I think I only need 12, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it down in half and do this. It can be frustrating making a lot of cupcakes, especially when sometimes things go wrong. There's literally frosting on my camera. You probably can't even hear me, but yeah, we'll see when we frost these ones because I don't really need to care about finished. I'm washing my hands because I just finished cleaning everything up and I cleaned the floor too just because the floor was dirty from um it had like flour and stuff on it so I just swiffered it and then I vacuumed but yeah I put everything in boxes I don't think I showed that but I have them and I will in fact I will in fact show you the boxes. This needs to be changed by the sweat, or not toilet paper, paper towel roll. But I will show you the finished product really quick. So here they are. Here are the Reese's ones, the Oreo, and the birthday cake, which I think are the cutest always. But yeah, those are the three cupcakes all finished and yeah, that's probably, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.